Hey guys, Brandonia Productions here, and welcome to this tutorial. This is another Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition tutorial on my Windows 7 computer with my new microphone. Alright, so in this tutorial I'm actually going to teach you how to create your own subs. Now, um, what is a sub? Well, let's just uh, say you insert a button to your project. So I'm just going to grab a button real fast and put it right here. And then you double click on the button. If you'll notice, the text that you enter is actually called private sub, and then it ends the sub with end sub. Now this area is called a sub. This is a, uh, a group of code that happens once you specify it will happen. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create our own sub. So you can easily do this by just typing sub. Now next thing you want to do is actually type the name of the sub. So we're just going to name this sub sub. So we're going to create a new sub called sub. And that's all we need for now. And then we just need to press end sub. Oh, and apparently we cannot use sub as a sub. So we're just going to say sub. Uh, let's just say sub private. Alright, so we create this uh, sub private 2. Alright, and um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to insert our own coding here. So what's going to happen is we're going to, uh, once the sub is run, we're going to actually display a message box. Okay, so this message box is going to say, hello, how are you? Okay. But, um, so this is the basic structure of a sub. And inside the sub, it tells us what to do. But if we uh, go to our form, there's no way to access the sub. So what we actually need to do is every time the button is clicked, we need to run the sub private 2. Okay, so every time the button clicks, it goes to private 2, and private 2 is right here. So we're just going to debug the program to see if it works. And we press button 1. And would you look at that? It pops up with, hello, how are you? Which is awesome. Now, you can get a little more uh, complicated in your subs by actually uh, using variables. For example instead of the message box displaying how are you you want it to display whatever text that you specify so what we need to do is actually declare a variable specific to this sub you can do this by in the parentheses after private 2 you're actually going to type by val and then you're gonna type the name of the uh, of this variable so I'm gonna name it contents as so by definition we're going to have contents as a and since it goes inside the message box, it has to be a string. Okay? So, when the message box goes, it actually needs to display the message box contents. Okay, so the message box will display the variable contents, which we declare right here. So, when we click the button, it actually runs private too, but it doesn't declare contents. So, uh, whoops. So, what we need to do is, if we go to if we run private2 and open parentheses you actually notice that it says contents as string so what we need to do is actually type what we want to be in the message box so we're gonna type yo what's up okay so then we run the debug and we press the button and it says yo what's up so the code worked out perfectly okay um so Yes, this was pretty much a very short tutorial, so I'm just going to cut it here because this is how you make your own sub. Um, but there's also a couple of different subs you can create, right? So we just have a normal sub here, but what we can do is if we want the sub to only be specific to this form, we're actually going to need to make it a private sub. So private subs only work, the variables for these subs only work on form 1. But for example, if we want to create another form, and uh, have that variable be used on that form, we need to make it a public sub. They all work the same, they are interchangeable, but um, the one is just recommended for different purposes in order to make the program run as fast as possible. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial on how to create your own subs, and uh, please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, yes, thanks. Okay, but now since we're done with our tutorial, I'm actually going to tell you about this. 
uh, you know, it's a little advertising I'm doing for my forum. But remember to join our forum, the Visual Basic 2008-2010 forum. The link is in the description because you can learn different tutorials that are not on my videos. For example, you can learn how to import a print print for your program. Uh, BSS Snapper on the forum asked how to print something, and we actually got a response in coding. So right here we've got the coding of how to uh, create a print button so your program can print documents. Another tutorial that's been added to the forum is how to email something on your program. So for say for example you want to email an error to you. Um, we this uh, forum has actually specified how to do it from your Gmail account or from your Hotmail account. So yes, remember to join the forum and uh, please, please give it a try. I know you, it might seem not seem like a good idea now, but if you are an avid programmer wanting to learn, you can join and it'll help you out greatly. Okay, so um, one more thing: if you are still watching, which I'm sure you probably aren't, because you're just like, oh, he's ranting about the forum again. But if you are, could you please leave a comment uh, suggesting what type of videos I should do next? Do you have a tutorial request, or you want gameplay videos, or you want me to just sit here and tell you about my life stories, or you want some videos where there's a webcam? What do you want? What do you, the viewer, want? All right, so please leave a comment telling me that. All right, so thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, donate, visit the forum, visit my website, watch the rest of this video, which is going to be over in three, two. One, see ya.